Summer is the season of classic car shows. Collectors and rebuilders want to, their vehicles to stand out, and one of the easiest ways to do so is with a rare car or truck. That's exactly what Brian Molesky stumbled upon when he found a 1938 Plymouth pickup. He spent nearly six years restoring the old vehicle, and as Rachel Slavic found out in this week's Finding Minnesota, his hobby became an outlet during one of his family's biggest challenges. The classic car circuit is all about putting craftsmanship on display. Old makes and models restored and repainted, often flashier than their first go around. I've had this engine in and out of this thing at least three times. To the untrained eye, Brian Molesky's 1938 Plymouth pickup may not have as much curb appeal as the hot rods and roadsters. Was this an original combination, black with yep, the uh, blue? Yep. Yet those who understand vintage vehicles see something truly special. You just have appreciation for the trucks when you see them. Production for the Plymouth pickup fell in 1938. They only made 4,620 of them. It was at least produced, and being a farm truck, they were all banged up. I've yet to see an original one. So when Brian brought home the old truck in 2011, I just thought I wanted to uh, put it all back original. He pictured something greater than the rusted out shell. I was just like, what are you doing? Like, why would you even take this on? His wife Renee didn't share the same vision. It's like a hunk of junk. I probably gave him the look and went into the house. Still, he tinkered away. I get the look a lot. Yeah, he just said, just wait, it's going to be so beautiful. Measuring progress in years rather than hours. It took me three days to get the tailgate on. Just simple stuff that you think are nothing turned out to be something. Yet even before it was roadworthy, it's a 201 Flathead 6. Brian realized his rare truck had a greater value. You can get it in the dumps pretty quick if you don't have something to take your mind off it. In 2014, Renee began the fight of her life battling stage 3 ovarian cancer. It's really hard not to project our family without one of us. And, and, and Brian would always say, you know, you have this day, just this day is all we need to think about. The truck became Brian's outlet, a sanctuary where he could focus on the future. I'm out here doing this and, you know, in, in constant prayer, you know, it was, it was a good thing. He'd be out here for hours, you know, oh sanding. The finished product became a victory in both restoration and recovery. He would go out and get strong in the garage and then come back in when I, when I needed him to be strong for me. It's why Brian thought the pickup would be his last. It's a 1930 Model A coupe. Fate had a different plan. Two months ago, Brian once again began the long process of rehabilitating a worn out frame. Timed just as Renee would get word of another health battle. On Thursday, I just found out the cancer's coming back. And so um, he'll be working on that truck. It was a form of therapy in a way. So as the Molesky's begin, a new journey. I have to put my turn signal on. An unfinished piece of the past will once again have a small role in their future. They didn't have them back then? Well, if you had arms, then you had turn signals. To help them navigate the long road ahead. We're going to be together, you know, through the process. Rachel Slavic, WCCO 4 News. Now, Brian says he is looking to sell his rare 1938 Plymouth pickup to help pay for the repairs and restoration on his Model A coupe. If you'd like to learn more, we have information on our website where you can get in touch with Brian. Also, go ahead and send us your ideas for Finding Minnesota.